Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my February 2023 BoxyCharm try on review tutorial video. <laughs> I've got all of my BoxyCharm products for the month from my BoxyCharm base box and my BoxyCharm premium box in front of me here and I'm so excited to try it all out. I used to do individual tutorial try on videos of every product but now that I've stopped that everyday series I thought it would be fun to still try out all the products in kind of like a first impressions tutorial type video but using them all so I've got some really exciting products in front of me and usually I just focus on makeup products but I also am going to try out some skincare products like I got here the refreshments velvet body cream in the unscented so I was excited to get such a giant body cream because I love body creams but what I love about a body lotion a body cream is the scent of it I feel like it's kind of like wearing perfume but in a more like toned down way so I'm not crazy about the unscented <laughs> quality of this even though it is good to have fragrance free for skincare but my hands are very dry right now with the cold weather so I figured let's go ahead and try this out first and the refreshments line I believe is like an ipsy line and I actually redeemed a bunch of ipsy points this month to get more refreshments products and to this point I hadn't tried any of them but I did get the citrus scent I think in ipsy with my points but okay oh it does seem like a nice thick lotiony cream does feel very nice not greasy that actually is a very nice feel on my hands and my hands look really nice and hydrated moisturized now so I'll use this all over my body after I shower and I'm excited about it because it really is super nice and softening on the skin. And then the other skincare product that I was really excited to get is this Ren Clean Skincare Ever Calm Redness Relief Serum. So now I'm not sure if this will give me some immediate results, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. We're gonna see. Ooh, this is all like recyclable packaging. Yeah, very nice. And so my skin right now has no makeup on it. And look at how red my cheeks are. So I'm going to see. Wow, yeah. <laughs> so much redness in my cheeks. I'm going to apply this to half of my face and let's see if we notice a difference. I do like the pump. So I'm taking one pump and I'll apply it to half of my face. Ooh. I really like the texture of this. Blends out very easily, blends out far. It kind of smells a little bit like Fruit Loops. <laughs> it doesn't have like a green tint to it or anything like that, that would kind of reduce redness in that way. Like right away, I'm not noticing anything. I do have large pores on my cheeks, my nose, and it does seem like it's kind of smoothed the pores a bit and helped to minimize the appearance of pores, which is great. But for the redness in my cheek, with it versus without it, I'm not noticing anything just yet, but I'm gonna move on to my eyes and we'll watch if the redness seems to go down but I really like the feel of this. I like how it applied. It seeped into my skin very nicely. So I will continue using this serum and maybe it just is like more of like a prolonged type thing to just calm skin. It's supposed to help protect skin against environmental pollution. So another type of video that I love to do here on my YouTube channel is empties videos. So maybe I can do them monthly if I go through enough products that month or every other month or so. So then as I continue using this, once I use it up, that's where I can let you know how it worked for me over time. But I definitely was hoping for some immediate redness reduction <laughs> from just applying this serum. 
but so far, I'd say still nothing. And then I was so excited to get this huge, beautiful Ciate London Royal Edition 24 piece eyeshadow palette. I love that it has the big mirror and look at all of these colors. Such like a range, like a rainbow of colors here. And I'm gonna start out with some swatches. I wanna see what these formulas are like. There's a lot of shimmers. Like this is a beautiful shimmer here. Wow, great pigment. Really pretty matte. Oh my gosh, that looks so pigmented. Ooh, so there's like a more of a shimmery and then like a metallic. Oh my gosh, this royal blue. Beautiful. Let's try this one. Corgi. <laughs> Wow, these swatches look so pigmented. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Wow. These seem like really nice formulas. Oh, that's so beautiful. Wow, these colors actually look very cohesive. Even though it's kind of like, a, like I was saying, like a rainbow of colors in this palette. But yeah, every single one swatched really impressive. And so I am gonna test these eyeshadows with and without an eyeshadow primer to see how they do. So this is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And I'm just going to blend this all over one of the eyelids. Okay, and I'm gonna start out with a brow highlight because I have to use this beautiful shimmery white called Diamonds. Oh my gosh. This looks like such a bright, beautiful highlight. Yeah, like I'm only gonna go in with a little bit because this is super bright and pigmented. Oh, wow. And it blends out really nice. So hitting right below that brow arch and this inner corner to brighten this up. Oh my gosh, that is intense. A little goes a long way, which I love to see. I love a bright highlight. Wow. That is impressive. There's definitely a lot of red, orange tones in here that I just don't love on me. So I'm gonna probably try and avoid those ones a bit. And first I am just gonna start out, let's go very subtle. I'm gonna pick up this matte light beige shade called Castle on a fluffy brush. And I'm gonna use this to start building up the crease transition area. So I'm going to blend this from the crease up to the brow bone. And that'll help blend out that highlight there. And yeah, that, that's kind of barely showing up on my skin tone, but that's okay. For this transition area, I'm really just trying to get a little bit of contour depth going on. And I'm able to get the slightest bit of that. But this shade, since it is very hard to see on my eye, could also work to blend all over the lid to set it and prep it for other colors. So let's see how that does. I'm picking up some more. I'm just gonna dust it all over the lid. Yeah, it's very similar to the natural color of my eyelid. But just to kind of, I guess, give it a bit of a cleaned up look, even out the tone. I actually kind of like how that looks alone to help with that discoloration in my eyelid. That's nice. But let's deepen up the crease a bit. I'm gonna pick up this matte brown here called Royal Family and put this right into the crease to build up that dimension and that contour. Wow, this is really blendable, pigmented, a little goes a long way, but it is blending out nicely, so it's still working. Oh, I love that. That definitely gave the eye some good contour. I think this showed up a bit more pigmented on the eye with the primer, so dipping back in to try and build it up to as much pigment. And good to see it is buildable. All right, I want to move on to some more fun colors. And this sparkly green called Palace Gardens is really jumping out at me. Oh my gosh, that looks so beautiful. 
just with my finger, I'm gonna place this into that outer corner and oh my gosh, that is so pretty, so pigmented. I felt like I barely picked anything up, but it is opaque, beautiful metallic green. Wow, such an impressive formula. And then this other shimmery shade in the middle here called Spectra, this bluish shade, oh my gosh, looks so pretty as well. I'm gonna put this like the center. Oh, that looks so pretty with the green and it's also so pigmented. You only need a little bit and you've already got that opaque, metallic, shiny, beautiful color. And then I'm loving these shimmers so much. I'm gonna finish off the eyelid with this kind of more champagne shimmer called, oh my gosh, called Tiara. This looks so beautiful. This would be another great highlight shade. Oh my gosh. So bright and pigmented. I love this. And just blend it all together. Okay, wow. I love this palette. The formula is so impressive. Okay, I'm gonna revisit this to finish the lower lash line. But also the next product I'm gonna apply, it's the Iconic London Triple Threat Mascara, which I have tried before, but not in a long time. So I'm gonna give this another go. It's a very little wand with very short silicone bristles. I'm kind of thinking of applying lashes to this look. I didn't get any lashes in BoxyCharm, but I've just been in a lash mood lately. So I'm gonna apply this mascara, but I may end up popping on lashes as well. This mascara has kind of a sticky feel to it. So it, it's going on with good volume. And it's definitely buildable quickly which I like in a mascara. Like it goes on with this kind of sticky, thick formula. That's a little heavy on the lashes, but it builds up quickly, which I like. Definitely not giving my lashes much lift and curl though. So it's a mascara that I would really want to use a lash curler with, which I did not do today. So I feel like my lashes look very straight. So yeah, it's, it's decent mascara. I still want to apply lashes, I think, especially with this eyeshadow look, which has a lot of kind of bold shimmer going on. I think a lash would look great, but I like this wand. It's pretty easy to get precise with it, not messy. So I'll revisit this for the lower lashes. Next, one of the products I was most excited to get, the Rare Beauty Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation. I love trying out foundations and Rare Beauty is a brand that I've been wanting to try out more products from, so I'm very excited about this. I got it in the shade 160C and it says to shake well. And then I also got these beauty sponges from YC Collection, the Marble Sponge Duo, and I already dampened one of them and these feel really nice, really squishy, soft, a velvety feel, so they seem very promising. When I took these out of the bag, I was very excited about the feel of them. They're not that like too firm type of sponge. I'm picky with my sponges, but this seems like what I would like. I'm also very picky with my foundation, so I'm excited to see how this is going to be. But before I do, what do we think about the redness in my cheeks? Oh, it is still so <laughs> the same. It, that serum did not help reduce the redness yet. You know, maybe as I continue using it over time daily, it'll help. But for now, I've got a lot of redness in my cheeks that I want to cover up with this foundation. I've got some blemishes I want to cover up, the large pores I was talking about. So let's see how this is. I wonder what the applicator is. Ooh. A big doe foot applicator, I like that. So let's see how it is on my skin. I'm gonna go right over those blemishes to start. Oh, it's a very thin formula. It has a bit of a smell to it, but I don't think that's gonna bother me. Oh, 
Ooh, okay, shade match. Wow. Ooh. And some good coverage. For such a thin formula, I'm impressed with the coverage so far. Let's hope for some good coverage over the redness here in the pores. Oh yes, and this sponge is working great. And it does not seem to be absorbing much product because I'm still able to get really good coverage with this. And sometimes sponges are so absorbent that I feel like I don't get the coverage that I'm looking for, but this feels so soft, bouncy on the skin, and it's giving such a smooth finish and good coverage, even though it looks like there's a lot of foundation on here. And overall, I'm liking the foundation, but it's looking very matte, which is fine, but I just, personal preference, kind of prefer more of that natural glow finish that kind of healthy radiance to the skin but you can definitely add that back in with highlighter with setting sprays but this is doing a beautiful job of evening out the skin tone it helps that the shade match really is so spot on for me but look at with it versus without it that coverage it does still have like a little bit of radiance to it but it is a little bit more matte than i tend to go for and i want to just see if i can build up for a little bit more coverage on the redness in my cheek a little bit of the blemishes here a little bit more on my nose but yeah, this is called Weightless Foundation, and that is so true. It is super lightweight and thin, and it really does feel lightweight on the skin as well. Yeah, it's decently buildable, but I do feel like as I am building it up, it's making it look a little bit more heavy on the skin, like settling into pores a little bit. And I did say I'm very picky with my foundation. So you have to look up very up close to like see the slight settling into pores. But wow, this is very nice. But I do think I don't love the way it, it builds up just because it starts to look a bit more matte and a bit more noticeably like that foundation texture, just like a little bit more cakey heavy if I build it up too much. Like, I think I may have even gone in with too much right here, but we'll blend it out. That's what a dampened beauty sponge is good at. When it's a little too much, it can help absorb excess. And so first impression on the foundation, it's nice, but it's not my favorite because of that more matte finish. Looks a little bit more heavy, a little bit more textured, just a little bit more noticeable on the skin. And I just really like my foundations to look completely like skin. I do really like this sponge. It's very soft, but it blended out beautifully. It didn't leave any marks on the skin. A very airbrushed finish, I would say. And so I did not get a concealer. So I'm going to go ahead and pop on some concealer and come back. Okay, I just applied some products off camera that were not part of my BoxyCharm box, but I'll let you know everything I just applied. I applied my concealer. This is the Rachel Couture Concealer, and this is one of the products that I used in my recent Valentine's Day makeup tutorial, and I love it. Actually, the flowers behind me I got from my fiance for Valentine's Day. I love them. But I also love this concealer, highly recommend. And if you haven't seen that Valentine's Day makeup tutorial video yet, that is up here on my YouTube channel. And I tried out so many products from the brand Rachel Couture that are absolutely amazing. I also set the concealer with the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder just on my under eyes. I didn't really want to set the rest of my face because the foundation is already looking pretty matte and it already kind of looks powdered. I don't want to add any more matte texture to it. I also applied lashes. These are the Lily Lashes in Falling For You. 
and I applied them with the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. Oh, and I also used some black liquid liner before applying the lashes, and the eyeliner that I used is this Sugar Wingman Waterproof Micro Liner. So now I want to go back into the Ciate London Royal Edition eyeshadow palette to pick up a shade for that lower lash line. I think just a brown along the lower lash line will look nice. So I'm gonna pick up this matte brown called King on a dense little brush here. And just going to line and blend it out along the lower lash line here. Give some definition to the eye. Ooh, yeah. That really does help to enhance the eye and complete the look. And then going back into the iconic London mascara for these lower lashes as well. Yeah, this is a nice lower lash mascara wand because you can get every lash and it's not messy. I'm really happy with the finished eye look. I feel like it really enhances the eyes. Very pretty. Now I definitely need to give some life into my skin. So I got this beautiful Secret Garden 3D Blush and Glow Palette from Eloise. Oh, and this is so beautiful. The texture in here, they're all really shiny. It's like I don't even want to touch them. They're so beautiful. But I'm going to go ahead and do some swatches. Ooh, yes. I love a glowy blush. And this foundation definitely needs some glow to it. The colors are decently similar. Ooh. And they are pigmented. Wow. Wow. <laughs> some beautiful bright pinks here. I think I'm gonna have to go with the first one, which looks like it'll be a little bit less red and pink on me, maybe more of like that sun-kissed look that I try and get with my blush. But very impressive swatches, beautiful formulas. I'm picking up a fluffy brush for <laughs> applying the blush since they are so pigmented. And this shade in the corner here is the one that I think is gonna look the best on me. Oh yes, very pretty, but it's such a buttery, smooth texture that looks like no texture on the skin, which I love. Blendable. Oh wow, yeah, that definitely gave some life back into my skin. So that just brings us to lips. And I am a little nervous about these lips just because the colors are kind of out of my comfort zone. So first I've got from Ciate London the Liquid Velvet Matte Lipstick in the shade Obsession, which is this dark chocolate brown color. And then I also got this beautifully packaged Pout Perfect Liquid Lipstick from the brand Ace Beauté. And I got this in the shade Manifest, which look at how beautiful this is, but it looks like a very light color. So a color that's probably too dark for me and a color that's maybe too light for me, but I'm gonna try them both out. First, let's do some swatches. Nice like angled pointy applicator. Oh wow, no real scent to it. This is actually a little bit more brown than I was expecting too. That looks very different in the swatch, darker than I was expecting. Like look at that swatch versus the packaging. And then the shade Obsession from Ciate London. Ooh, interesting applicator here. Also pointy, but a little bit thick for a doe foot. Oh my gosh. Yep, <laughs> a true dark brown. I don't know that either of these is gonna look that great on my lips, <laughs> but I'm gonna go for it. I've got the Ciate London Obsession in my hand right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this one first. I mean, it's a nice pigmented formula. I 
I actually feel like because of my eye makeup, this bold, dark lip doesn't look as out of place on me as I was expecting it to. Like I'm not too mad about it. It's just a little bit more like, kind of like a gothic makeup look than I personally wear, but I don't know, I kind of like it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below of this lip color, but I feel like if I saw this makeup look on someone else, I would really like it. It's just like not exactly my personal like style, but maybe it could be. <laughs> but I wanna see how this shade on top looks. Maybe it can tone it down a little bit. Let's see. I'll start in the middle, see if like an ombre effect This Ace Beauté has a more like balmy feel to it, which is really nice. Wow, these shades actually go really nice together for that ombre effect. I wanna use this Manifest shade from Ace Beauté for other ombre lips because I feel like it really is a perfect shade for the center. That looks actually very pretty now. Wow, okay. Look at this look that came together with all of the BoxyCharm products. I am very happy with it. I'm just gonna take my clip out for the final look, the final reveal. And here we have it. My finished makeup look using all of my BoxyCharm products this month. And I'm very impressed. It all came together really nicely. A little bit out of my comfort zone, especially with the lip, but I'm liking this. The eyeshadow palette, I love. The foundation, it looks nice for this full face look, but it definitely looks like I'm wearing foundation, but it's still pretty. It gives that really nice even out complexion. I like the blush. So let me know in the comments down below what you've been thinking of your BoxyCharm products. If you tried any of these, I would love to hear your thoughts on them. And thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you soon in my next video.